Hello everyone, so today I decided to do a bit of an update of my weight loss journey since I posted that video. In that video, I think I shared with you guys that I had gained weight after having my toddler son, who's now going to be two, um, and I was having a difficult time losing that weight. To be honest, I wasn't really trying, so there's that but uh point is i wasn't motivated to actually uh deal with it and so um i think now i'm just at a point where i need to do something about it especially with the holidays december coming up i don't want a situation where i'm like going into december and potentially just still gaining more and not losing any in it because i like to eat my food during holiday season okay um anyways so it occurred to me that um, since my husband has been on a weight loss journey himself, he's doing intermittent fasting. And I realized that I am a natural intermittent faster. Like I don't crave breakfast, so I'm not hungry when I wake up. Uh, and that's always been a thing. Um, I eat socially like because it's, you know, oh, there's food, let's eat, but not because I'm hungry. So on days when, let's say my husband is not eating breakfast, I just don't eat breakfast anyway, and it doesn't bother me at all. Um, anyways, so because of this realization, I thought, last week I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if I actually did some type of uh, fast and actually tracked it? Um, and so when I, when I track my natural rhythm, I realized that I actually tend to fast for about, you know, I think 10, no, sorry, 16 hours um, a, a day. That's my natural thing. So this week I decided I want to fast for 20 hours a day. And uh, for the first three days, I think I hit 21 hours and it's been great actually. Like I feel pretty amazing. I feel like my energy level is way better. And, um, and I like the feeling of not having to think about food and worry about food. It's really easy because my husband is on a weight loss journey. So he tends to be like not eating as much anyway, uh, which is fantastic. His normal desires to have like bacon eggs and sausages for breakfast um and you know that kind of thing so he's a, he's a very comfortable eater he's six four so he has a lot to feed i guess um but anyway so that's been really great uh just being able to notice that i'm kind of starting at a point where naturally i i am capable of going without food without it being a big deal so I started watching a lot of videos about fasting in general so I know about intermittent fasting but I, I just kind of wanted to do like some type of three-day fast or something like that and so I've been watching a lot of videos about water fasting which to be honest five years ago I would scroll past those videos I'd never even I'd, I'd never even watched one video about this and um, yeah so now I'm kind of hooked on content <laughs> I'm hooked on this content because I'm just learning a lot about the power of actually going without food um, either whatever some people might do intermittent fasting or if you're capable of doing a couple of days or you know some people have done like my my older brother has done 30 days without food which to me is just poof. and so so yeah and I've done fasts before so I've done I think the most I've done is five days um, without food, but but yeah, like I'm I'm at a point where I'm actually gonna be starting a water fast, and I managed to co-op my brother and his wife and my husband and my younger brother as well um, into this crazy thing. So I'm doing this video because if you are in a place where you are wanting to do something that may be drastic to a lot of people, but um, isn't really that drastic let me know then we can do it together um i have been reading and watching a lot about the benefits of fasting and putting your body in what they call like a ketogenic state um and just staying there um to allow i mean there's a weight loss thing fat, fat burning but really there's a a potential for your body to just heal itself and the funny thing about fasting is that different cultures around the world different religions have implemented and used fasting as a tool for some type of cleansing or just wellness 
anyway but somehow we act like fasting is crazy so anyways i think i'm not at a place where i'm gonna be like watching what i eat in terms of like i'm not gonna stop eating the things that i like but i am interested in continuing this journey of um you know call it yeah whatever type of fasting i do i want to kind of enter this fasting world where i actually commit to it being a part of my lifestyle because it's actually not that difficult for me um i understand that for some people it does put them on edge i'm not one of those people and of course it's important to talk to your doctor and physicians or whatever before you do something like this if you're uh, uncomfortable but um but yeah I'm, I'm really excited about it because i just want a nice refresh and a spiritual cleanse because i'm at a place even with work that i'm trying to revision my business and i want to kind of do a strategic plan for the fall or in the fall and so this would actually really help me mentally to kind of get to a place where i can see what my 2024 is going to look like uh, for my business and for myself as well and in the process i would love to get rid of the the weight that i have put on that i don't need or want and i just want to be able to feel um, more energetic uh, which i feel like i managed to fake it really well like the energy levels with a toddler you kind of have to but i want to really have a good store of energy and i want to um have um good sleep and just overall just feeling good about my body and then with i have a medical thing that i'm you know the wait times for in our healthcare system have been crazy to get any type of surgery or anything like that and it occurred to me that wouldn't it be awesome if i found a way to manage some of my symptoms while I wait for my procedure to happen um, how amazing would that be and imagine if I actually start feeling great <laughs> it's crazy but yeah so some of the stories that I've watched um, and heard and read about uh, people who implement fasting as a part of their lives honestly are about that like because once your body apparently it's like usually in the 72 hour range or something where your body reaches this um state of what's it called autophagy or something like that i don't know how to pronounce it but i'll write it down and i'll put all the information in my description box with the different doctors and people that i've been um, learning from online and you can check it out for yourself because they obviously explain it better than I would. Um, and so, but the idea that if you deprive your food, sorry, if you stop eating food um, just every, I don't know, th two hours, three hours, like the way we're conditioned to do that in our modern culture, you actually allow your body to control insulin because that is the main issue of weight related illnesses, um, insulin spikes. Um, and so, once you go for the longer you go without food the more you put your body in a position of yeah fat burning and then at some point it becomes um capable of of actually building stem cells which is who doesn't want that um and and a lot of people like when you're diabetic or pre-diabetic rather um you actually have the potential of managing and sometimes even reversing um, your diabetes and so I don't know like I feel like I want to kind of immerse myself and learn a lot about fasting um, in a more intentional way rather than accidental fasting that I've been doing and uh, and just see where it goes but yeah I'm going to end this video now but if you are interested in joining this challenge we are starting on Monday and the date will be um, I think the date on Monday will be the 21st of August and I will try to see if I can put any information in the description bar below uh, for you to join in if you're interested um, yeah there's really nothing to it you're not allowed to eat food or oh, rather I shouldn't say you're not allowed we are choosing to not eat food the only thing we're consuming is water um, we have made a provision for those who are struggling at the time to be able to, to put lemon in their water or to put uh, apple cider vinegar and the third thing was um, 
yeah, sea salt. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can take electrolytes so long as they're not sweetened. So just plain electrolytes are fine if you get headaches or like lightheadedness or whatever. But yeah, so if you're interested in doing it, hit me up and then I will tell you what I'm doing to prepare for my fast um, because you don't want a situation where you're like gouging and eating a bunch of food before the fast begins because it will actually make the fast harder. So if you're interested in doing a fast, you need to prepare yourself for the fast by kind of eating clean, so to speak. Uh, but anyway, if you're interested in more about that, you can just message me and then I can uh, tell you some of the things that I'm doing um, to get to prepare my body for this longer fast. Okay, so this video might sound crazy, especially to some of you who don't believe in fasting. But uh, for those of you who want to give it a shot or for those of you who actually currently um, have it in your lifestyle as a part of your body wellness, uh, please hit me up as well and or in the comments just share some of the tips you have uh, so that we can have a successful fast. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!